I'm Roberto Garcia and I want to show you guys my four simple steps of making a drawing. So because of Mortal Kombat coming out, the new movie, and I'm super excited about it. Matter of fact, you know what, let's check out some of the highlights of that trailer. You guys are still with me so step number one the sketch you can see that i use a blue the reason why i use the blue color is just to differentiate uh, this from my final render because the final render is, is going to be drawn in black back in the days they used to do it in the blue pencil just so that way when you photocopy it and you do copies of it the blue wouldn't appear in the photocopies i got used to this so i continue to use this method the sketch to me is probably the hardest part because that's where you get your idea that's where you uh, try to figure out the pose of the character or uh, the, what it's going to look like in your head. You can use an action figure or you can use a, or something, a toy or something that's going to give you uh, poses so you can create the way it's going to look. Don't be shy. You can see nobody's perfect, especially not me. So I did a lot of circles. I did a lot of erasing. Do it until, you f until it feels right to you. You can do the most perfect human anatomy and it looks incredible, but it might not have the essence of your art or your style. And some people may be drawn more towards style. I, I'm more of a style, I like a style more than the actual photo, because you know, you can actually take a picture of, of a perfect human body. So you might as well just put your little flavor into it and your little swag, you know? So then step number two, step, step number two. You do the rendering, which is the actual drawing and in this case now that you got your guides you can actually uh, make the opacity a little bit less so it doesn't interfere in your vision and you can start just getting having fun with it and use reference i use reference uh, of pictures of scorpion when i was doing this so it wasn't like at the, at the top of my head i was actually looking at these amazing pictures and artwork from other that i found on the internet and i was just going along with it and just uh, for the hood and the mask I didn't at the top of my head I didn't remember exactly what Scorpion looked like and there's been a lot of different uh, versions of Scorpion that throughout the games and the and the comic book media and the movies so have fun with it and put your own creation into it enjoy once you're happy with your render uh, you, you start this is the fun part then your drawing is basically done all you got to do is not coloring it which would be the, the third step or I call it coloring flats the flat color so you don't worry about no shading or lighting at this point you just color what's yellow is yellow what's the gray is gray what's uh, skin color is skin color and so on and so on so you keep doing that fill up make sure you know there's no uh, mistakes around take your time and then uh, once that's done you start feeling good because the drawing is getting done you're starting to see the vision so now you got your character you got your colors what's next lighting and then i'm going to go into depth in future videos about this but lighting and shading is the, the the final step step number four will be lighting and shading and that's what gives the 3d effect of your character you got light on one side and the shadows are coming from the other side so you basically start doing lighter uh, shades of the same color um, towards the light and then in the dark the same thing and again there's no mistakes to be made you do as you feel because it's your style it's your uh, on your there's only one of you there's only one person that can do your drawing whether it be a stick figure or it'll be the most amazing Mona Lisa uh, classical painting that you could ever imagine doing just be you enjoy doing it um, this is my first video I'm sorry if it's all over the place I'm just trying to get myself going because I really enjoy drawing. I've been enjoy enjoying drawing since a young age that I can remember and I've done many projects on and off and I just I'm at a point right now where I'm enjoying the YouTube explosion of media creators and I want to put my two cents into it and actually actually use this as more motivation for myself to create more things that I want to do. I have the IGN no IGN what am I saying EGM Electronic Gaming Monthly magazine and this was when Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat were head to head in the arcades uh, you guys can remember prepare yourself September 93 
see i'm an old school head so i have everything right and of course this is the game that really made me a real fan because the first one there was a lot of controversy mortal kombat when it came out in the super nes and genesis days uh, there was a lot of controversy as everybody knows Super NES didn't have the fatalities, they didn't have the blood and the Genesis did have all that stuff, had better controls too, faithful to the arcade but the graphics were not up to par so I'm a graphics guy so I always prefer the Super NES no matter what even though the controls were clunky but uh, when, when, when Mortal Kombat 2 came out this, we stayed up all night playing this each of us, me and my buddies, we each had our own copy but we stayed by my, my buddy's uh, basement and we played it all night. That's it. That's all I have to say. So thank you. Till the next round.